Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Robert Cheek Show. I'm your host, Robert Cheek, where your personal best happens every day. Well, let's see. This past week, I've been up in Canada and then spent the weekend out in the woods at Camp Adams in Malala. And then today, I drove out to Central Oregon. I was in Bend for the afternoon. And now, as you may be able to see behind me, I'm at Mount Hood. Mount Hood, uh, famous mountain out here in Oregon, near Portland. So uh, just on my way back home, but wanted to swing by to say hi real quick. We've got a little bit of snow back there. This is one of the, whoa, <laughs> I almost fell off the edge here. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, this is one of the few mountains that's open 365 days out of the year for skiing and snowboarding. In fact, it may be one of the only, if not the only one in the United States open 365 days of the year, every single day, back in action, making it happen for skiing and snowboarding every day of the year. So uh, so we're here for that. I gotta watch my step up where I'm at. And uh, I'll show you, this is my car over there. It's my red car down there. And there's just some ski lifts that are stationary at the moment. We'll just do a little pan there. We're running low on battery, so this will be a pretty short video. There's the mountain up there. We've got some clouds coming in over the top. And we'll make sure I don't fall off the edge. Actually, I'm just on a small edge. So it's uh, no big deal. I wouldn't fall very far. But anyway, uh, talking about chasing after your passion and talking about creating opportunities for you uh, to do what you want to do. That's what we're all about. So so this is, the, this is kind of the fun. I mean, I work 16 hours a day, but I'm doing really, really fun things. And I'm in a lot of cool places. I mean, you just talk about in just one uh, one week, up in Canada, in Victoria, in Parksville, in Vancouver, BC, then driving back through Seattle. On the way, actually spent some time in Port Angeles, and then back, and then gave five talks in four days in Moella, and then went over to Bend, uh, Central Oregon, number one adventure city in America, for, I don't know, about four or five hours today, including a two and a half hour meeting that was awesome. And then, uh, then cruising around, doing some other stuff, taking care of business in Bend, and then driving through the forest, 5,000 feet or almost 5,000 feet elevation, just driving up and down hills and decided to uh, pull over right over here at Mount Hood and, uh, and give it a little visit. I'm actually hoping to do a hike up here. Not today, not today. I've been, like I said uh, earlier in an earlier video, I've been in my car more than in my bed. I've been driving more than I've been sleeping. So I'm gonna get back home, get back to work and hammer it on the computer and keep being productive uh, until, in, until I fall asleep basically. That's kind of what I do. Yesterday, same thing. Knowing that I had an eight-hour eight hour driving day, I was still up till around two in the morning or so, and then waking up at 6.45, I think it was, something like that, to uh, get ready and get on the road. So even knowing that I'm gonna be pretty busy, uh, you know, I still hammer it and, until I just can't anymore, and then I go to bed. Just trying to be as productive as I can. And I'm having a lot of fun lately on my Facebook fan page for veganbodybuilding.com. I created that fan page only a month ago. I, no, no, sorry, like three weeks ago. I already had the Robert Cheek fan page, you know, had a few hundred members. Now it's up to about 600 um, and that will grow and that should be over a thousand soon. But I created this veganbodybuilding.com fan page that uh, grew to over 2,000 members and up to maybe 100 wall posts a day in just uh, a few weeks. And uh, that was pretty phenomenal. So a lot of fun activity there too. And a lot of people who aren't part of the veganbodybuilding.com community finding out about this information through Facebook. I'm gonna pan around uh, again just quickly to check the screen because I am low battery. And uh, just so I don't freak anybody out to reveal where I almost fell earlier is, uh, you ready for this? <laughs> right there, there's my foot. I almost fell to there. It's about a six inches, so it seemed dramatic at the time because I was backpedaling like this, if you can see, and I was, I just, you know, I kind of stumbled like that, but I wasn't going to fall off the mountain or anything like that, so, uh, so no big deal there. But we'll, we'll go pan out here a little bit more. I've got some sun coming in. Mount Hood up there, it's about a 10, 11,000 feet at the peak, so I must be about, about 5,000 right now. And I've climbed this before up to about maybe 7,000 or so. And then just, you know, about an hour up and then back down. I was even thinking of doing a little climb today to go play in the snow. But I think I'll save that for another video. So anyway, 
uh, thanks for hanging out with us. Uh, we're, we are getting low on battery, but um, again, today's kind of theme is just set yourself up for, woo, it's a bright sun. Set yourself up for what you really wanna do and, and put in the time. So do your nine to five job. Do whatever you have to do to pay the bills so you have your income. So put in your time, and as soon as five o'clock hits, or as soon as three o'clock, or four o'clock, or six, whenever you get out of work, get back home, or get to where you need to get to, to do what you love to do, and do it for another eight hours. You know, forget about this eight hour work day. I mean, that's, that's kind of wimpy stuff. I mean, that's, that leaves us complaining, that leaves us wishing, and hoping, and saying, what might have been, or I wish things were different. Uh, stop doing this eight-hour workday stuff and start doing 16 hour di- hours a day. Start doing 16-hour workdays, eight hours to pay the bills, and eight hours of what you love to do, and eventually what you love to do becomes your career, and that starts making you money, and that starts making you the lifestyle that you want, and that ha- allows you to pay the bills, and that gets you going, and then you're working eight hours of what you love to do, and if you want, 16 hours of what you love to do. Because then your eight-hour job won't be there anymore. It's replaced with eight hours of what you love to do. And then another eight hours because you know you want to make it better. So you work overtime. Because it's not work. It's not a chore. It's playing. And you're loving it. Okay, now it's really flashing. I got to go. This camera's about to shut off. So thank you for watching. This has been the Robert Cheek Show, where your personal best happens every day. See you later from Mount Hood.